In the name of Allah, all praise belongs to Allah, and may prayers and peace be upon the Messenger of Allah. Assalamu alaikum. So many people have heard about Muslims fasting and about the month of Ramadan, but there are actually a lot of confusions and misunderstandings surrounding this topic. So inshallah today we're going to try and clear them up and give you a nice, concise explanation of fasting in Islam. So let's begin. Bismillah. Why do you fast? In the Quran, Allah says, O you who believe, fasting is prescribed for you as it was prescribed for those before you, so that you may become mindful of God. Fasting, called Saum in Arabic, is one of the most fundamental forms of worship in Islam. It's a means of spiritual purification and a way of developing self-restraint and consciousness of God. The idea is basically that if you can stay away from things that on any other day would be totally permissible and good for you, then you should have no problem staying away from sin, staying away from temptations, and from things that are not good for you. When people fast, they do not eat, drink, or engage in sexual activity from the time of dawn until the time of sunset. In addition, the fasting person makes an effort to refrain from negative actions or behaviors such as lying, cursing, gossiping, or anything else that might diminish the spirit of the fast. When you're fasting, you're constantly aware of it throughout the day, so that actually helps you to remember Allah and avoid sinful actions. This state of God consciousness, called taqwa in Arabic, is something that you hopefully carry with you even after the fast is over. When do you eat? When you have the intention to fast, you should wake up extra early before dawn to eat suhoor, which is basically your pre-dawn breakfast. Technically, you can continue eating until dawn begins. But in actual practice, people usually stop eating a few minutes before dawn just to be safe. Once the dawn comes in, the fast has begun and you can't have anything until sunset. No, it does not matter if you still have a few bites of raisin bran left. You can't have anything until sunset. No, not even a snack. Yes, that includes water. You can't have anything until sunset. If you intentionally eat or drink anything during the day, your fast is broken. The only exception would be if it was an accident. Like if you forgot momentarily that you were fasting and you had a couple of pieces of watermelon and then all of a sudden you're like, oh no, I'm supposed to be fasting today and I ate. Calm down, you're okay. In that case, you just keep fasting and nothing is broken. It's all about your intention. At the time of sunset, the fast comes to an end and we have iftar, which is something small to eat or drink to officially break the fast. Traditionally, people break their fast with dates and water. A short time later, usually after completing the sunset or maghrib prayer, people sit down for a full dinner. What do you do when you're fasting? During the fast, we try to increase in good deeds and remembrance of Allah. We also strive to make as much dua or personal prayer as possible. Because we know from the reported sayings of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam that the dua of the fasting person will never be rejected. When do you fast? Fasting can be done on almost any day of the year, but the major time for fasting is during the Islamic month of Ramadan. During Ramadan, Muslims are required to fast during the daylight hours for the entire month. So this is the time most commonly associated with fasting. In addition, there are other times during the year when Muslims are encouraged to fast, such as on the day of Arafah, which is on the ninth day of the month of the Hijjah, for Ashura, which is on the 10th of Muharram, by fasting that day as well as either the day before or the day after, and for six days during the month of Shawwal, which comes right after Ramadan. Also, it's considered a sunnah, or tradition of the Prophet ﷺ, to fast on Mondays and Thursdays, so many people fast on these days as well. So, inshallah, I hope this helps you to better understand fasting in Islam. If you have more detailed questions regarding fasting, check out some of these incredibly helpful videos on the fiqh, or jurisprudence of fasting. Thanks for watching and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, inshallah. Peace be upon you. Assalamu alaikum. If you're looking for a great place to spend your Ramadan, then there's no better place to be than the Islamic Center at New York University. ICNYU invites you to join us for a free iftar dinner to break your fast every night of this blessed month. To learn more or to help out, visit nycramadan.com because Ramadan in NYC is Ramadan at the IC. Traditionally, people break their fasts with dates and water. I have dates and water right here. Where are they? Where are my dates? Where are my dates? I can't find my dates.
No, it does not matter if you still have a couple of bites of raisin bran. Raisin bran? Raisin bran? I don't know. Maybe they should invent that. No, it does not matter if you still have a few bites of raisin bran left. Blah. I did it again. Those dates. That watermelon thing actually happened to me in my first Ramadan. And a whole box of dates. Watermelon, watermelon, watermelon. Watermelon. It is great. Where did my dates go? Shall I find them? For a full dinner. Dinner. A full dinner. Traditionally, people break their fast with dates and water. Ugh. Spell.